This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Motion Bear. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a very dynamic and 3D looking motion graphic animation inside of After Effects that too without using any plugins. It's super easy to create and looks very very cool. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be our main render comp. Let's call this render. I will set this to 1920 by 1080. You can of course go with 4K as well. 30 FPS and 10 seconds long, hit OK. Then let's create one more new composition, which is going to be our circles. So I'm gonna call this circles. Hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid layer. Hit OK. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go into Fix and Preset and search for Fill. Let's double click to apply that up. I'm going to make this one white. And then use a very cool effect that is called Venetian Blinds. Let's double click again to apply them up. And I can increase the completion just like so. You know, I can rotate the direction to 45 degrees and let's increase the width. So somewhere around there and let's play around with this one. All right. Then let's go back to our main render comp. Let's go into the project and drag and drop in our circle or sphere. Let's go into effects and preset and search for an effect called CC sphere. Let's double click to apply that up and right off the bat we get this very nice 3D sphere. Well, actually it's not a 3D, actual 3D, but it's uh, like you can call it a fake 3D kind of a thing. But we get a lot of different controls using which we can actually make the sphere look very much um, 3D basically. Anyway, so let's... Um, we can play around with the radius so we can make this bigger or smaller depending on the look that we want to go for. Um, let's bring down the intensity to around 50. And then I'm going to uh, rotate the light direction just like so. I can increase the light intensity a bit more I think. And let's go into the shading. Let's increase the ambient to around 60. So that looks much better. I think 60 is a bit too much. Let's go with something like 50. We don't want any specularity or roughness. Let's bring down the metal to zero and everything else looks pretty good. Let's hit control Y to create a new background called this BG for background. And after that, I'm going to select the circle. Then let's go into fix and preset and search for drop shadow. Let's bring down the opacity to 35% and change the distance to around 250 should be good. All right, and let's increase the softness to 500. So we get a very subtle shadow, which adds a nice depth. Maybe I'll increase the opacity to 40. So that looks pretty nice. And again, I can play around with the radius. I can also rotate it to a different uh, direction, but I think this looks pretty good. As you can see, if we rotate it, it gets kind of choppy edge here, but you know, we can rotate it in different way and different direction if you want to like something like that you know kind of reminds me of that pepsi logo and then i'm going to go into fix and preset again and let's add a tint so using tint we can add whichever color that we want i'm going to make sure that it's on the top of the effects rack and then i can change the black color to something like a nice blue or darker blue color something like this and that is looking actually pretty good we can also play around with the white one so i can make this a little bit lighter kind of a blue and something like that looks um pretty sweet then let's select this hit p to bring down the position and i will be using a very simple expression so hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type in wiggle open and close parentheses and let's type in 
value of 0.3 comma 200 so we have a random position movement for our sphere now you can also rotate it so if we want actually i can hit ctrl c to copy this select the layer hit r to bring down the rotation properties again let's apply the expression right here so we can also you know rotate it like so if we want to but i will suggest not to do it here you can uh you can perhaps do it into the rotation of uh, this properties the cc sphere properties but i personally like to keep it the way it is so it looks pretty nice to me just like so and then what i can do is basically all i have to do is first of all change the layer color to um blue and let's create a few duplicates so hit ctrl d a couple of times to create some duplicates and then i can just simply bring down the size and place them randomly throughout the composition just make sure that it looks good so you know and the best part about this is everything is pretty abstract you can see it looks pretty awesome and you can go into the circle you can change the way it looks so i can even rotate it and you know get a different look also i can do stuff like if i can go into effects and preset type in turbulence displacement i can add that and if i go back boom we get a very cool and uh, you know kind of an abstract look it's really crazy something like that get a very 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 cool look I i'm kind of liking this then i can just simply create one more duplicate and this time i'm going to change the color to a different one maybe something like a yellow and let's set this to yellow as well and then i can create a couple of duplicates again let's increase the size let's place them in a different uh, position basically all right and finally let's duplicate this one more time and let's change this to something like a pink color but i'm going to make this white actually so we can make this something like a grayish you know kind of an off white color and again scale this down make them very small depending on the look you want to go for you can um as i said it's completely abstract so you can play around with this you can create number of different styles you can duplicate them and have fun basically i'm gonna, I'm gonna duplicate this a couple of times let's increase the size here a bit and now if i preview this you can see we get a very abstract look overall so that is ready now before you proceed further with this tutorial i want to thank today's sponsor motion bear motion bear is an elite video hype author with over 12,000 plus sales and they have created this amazing transitions and titles pack for after effects called pluto you can easily edit the speed of any transition it also works with any FPS. This pack contains over 1000 drag and drop transitions and more than 760 titles and other animated elements with all the sound effects included. This pack can support any screen resolution up to 4K and it's super easy to use. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Now another way to color the circles is if I let's select uh, one of these circles. So let's solo this up. So let's say I have this one. I'm gonna just position the position position this right here. So one of the other way to color this is let's say if I hide the tint and if I go into effects and preset and search for fill, I can apply this directly. Let's place it on the top of the effects rack, just like so and then go into the uh, cc sphere shading and let's increase the reflectivity and just like you see we can now easily change the color of these uh, spheres basically but make sure you don't go too intense with this you can keep it very subtle and get a pretty nice look so if you don't want to use the tint you can use the fill with a reflectivity of around 20 percent and that is going to work uh even fine anyway so i'm i'm loving this composition now i can select the text tool and basically add on my text 
so i will be using an integral font i have mentioned the link in the description if you want to uh, download this exact same font i'm typing creative let's go with the bold and let's bring down the spacing i'm going to duplicate this hit Control d let's put this below and call this one design all right and then what i'm going to do is select the creative text make sure it's on the top of the design text and let's right click go into layer styles and add a drop shadow let's go into drop shadow let's um set the angle to 90 and increase the distance like so for the color i'll pick the color from the background let's increase the uh, size just like that to get a really nice depth as you can see right here we can also add a noise of around three percent so we don't get any color bendings but overall it's looking super nice i think and then we can simply go ahead and animate them so i can go to around two seconds let's say select them hit a p to bring down the position create a keyframe hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe hit u so we can see all the keyframes i'll go to around uh, let's say 15 frames and bring them down and bring down the opacity to zero let's select all the keyframes we can right click keyframe assistant and easy ease them go into the graph editor drag the handle to the left just like so and then displace them a little bit so i can just actually bring this back and now we have a very nice and subtle text animation and now we can go ahead and create a revealing animation of this scene so to create this it's pretty simple all i have to do is uh, create a new solid so i'll hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this mask or you can call it whatever that you want i'm going to make it a different color maybe something like white hit ok and then let's go to one second select this hit p to bring down the position create a keyframe go back and bring that out of the frame just like so and now what i'm going to do is change the blending mode of this to stencil alpha and boom there we have our reveal so let's select the keyframes you can hit f9 to easy ease them or go into keyframe assistant and easy ease go into the graph editor and i'm going to create a peak into the center so we get a very interesting animated motion so i'm going to put this like this and let's um, preview the animation and as you can see it's looking pretty nice so that is how you can create this very dynamic looking motion graphic piece inside of after effects and that too without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and do let me know in the comment section below also hit that like button for the youtube algorithm so you know uh, this video reaches to more and more people who can benefit from this tutorial you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the link in the description below so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out